check that out. Yeah. You know, here's what all be flat tires. That's the way I think of it. Goat heads. That pesky plant that causes flat tires for bicycle riders. But every year, people in Boise fight back against this weed. Place it in a bag, or I have a bucket right now. And the Boise Bicycle Project's Jimmy Halliburton says, so far, people have pulled 2,000 pounds of goat heads. They definitely give a lot of flat tires to the kids that we donate bicycles to. So you as a community member can really help out and provide a great opportunity for kids to keep riding on their bikes by going out, getting your hands dirty and pulling goat heads. Then on August 1st, it will be time to celebrate with a party but the third annual Goathead Festival will be different this year. And what we didn't want to do is invest a lot of time um, into an event that we thought had a chance of getting canceled. So we decided to reinvent the event completely to make sure that it could it exist in any time of COVID in a really, really safe way. So instead of having 5,000 people in front of the Capitol, the adventure will start in people's own driveway at 1030 while listening to Radio Boise, who will be broadcasting instructions and music for a very unique pedal powered parade and going on what I think is going to be like the most exciting, wonderfully weird and bona fide Boise bike ride that they've ever been on. There will be strategically placed stops all over Boise to make the Goathead Fest a fun social distancing bike ride, no matter what part of town you live in. And perhaps most importantly, don't forget about the costumes. And the more you turn on to more different roads, the more that you'll see sort of like an ant farm, just people coming from all sorts of different directions in their costumes, having a good time with their family on their bicycle, eating local food, drinking local beer. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.